Yeah, we're just trying to decide how to do this. We had a little suss out and it turns out that no bikes are allowed down there. There's no other help way we're hiking all this stuff down because we can camp anyway and you're allowed to do that which is sick so we just gotta we gotta suss this out. I'm keen for this this is like it's mad secluded as no one's gonna come up here we can do whatever we want. All right cool so. All right it's a very nully uphill I'll I think I'll struggle. The boy everyone's on. What what up bro? Okay so now that the boys are gone I'm actually pretty nervous about this. <laughs> Off-road pro TCS disabled, ABS disabled. He's off, he's off. Easy, easy, yes, yes, yes. You got it, you got it. Good? Yeah. Holy shiitake mushrooms. Come on, Gratton. Come on. Oh, it's so top of you right now. Come on! Woo! You made it! I can't believe you made it. Alright guys, here we go. My turn. It looks so much steeper from down the bottom. You can do it! Just can't drop it. <laughs> Far out. <laughs> Left side just cannot be down. Don't even think about that. Don't even think about it. Nothing we haven't done before, man. Nothing we haven't done before. Over yourself. On. Off. Oh, Top Gear, this is the moment. Either you're gonna carry all your gear up alone or you're gonna come with us. <laughs> yes, yeah, Lee. he's doing it. Well, he's gonna push with you, man. Uh, okay. Wait, yo, turn traction control off. <laughs> oh, just on that. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, it's just the pipes. Turn traction control off. <laughs> oh wait, where's this stand not coming up now? Oh, you lost a spring. Oh, bruh. No. Oh god. <laughs> you lost your... I think it broke off. What? Oh, it's right here. Oh, oh yes. That's, oh god. But... Oh man, it's so long. I'm just worried for the sump, boys. <laughs> you went up the wrong path, bro. Dude, the bike was going by itself. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tomorrow problem, bro. Turn traction control off, bro. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Take your time, bro. Take your time. Take your time. Just clutch it. Clutch it. There you go. Oh. Just watch your foot, bro. Watch your foot. Oh. Wait, bro, 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 wait, wait. Okay. Okay. You got it? It's all good. Three, two, one, go. No. Keep going. Clutch, 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 clutch. 
There you go. Oh, that way, that way. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, 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 we did it. We did it. Oh, the boys. Oh, the boys are on. Oh my god. Good effort, boys. Yes. How sick is that? We reached the summit, boys. Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> Hey, you gotta believe in yourself, man. You gotta believe in yourself. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Well, you had traction on. The whole time. Oh, that's why I was stalling the whole time. Oh, you gotta turn it off, man. I was like, Turn traction on. You need power all the time. Yeah. So you just. Yeah. I was wondering why. I was just like, give it more. Watch the camera. I said it three times. Turn traction control off. Wait, yo, turn traction control off. Turn traction control off. Turn traction control off, bro. Now in Wenley's defense, he has only owned this bike for less than two weeks. He's never actually done this kind of riding before and he agreed to join this trip four days before he left, which left him no time to get the bike set up and prepped. He did actually order a set of Prelli Scorpion Rally STRs, but they didn't arrive in time. But the boys made it up, challenge conquered with no broken shift shafts, cracked sumps or flat tires. Was it worth it? Hells yeah it was. Yeah. I got my beanie out there as well. It's I gotta so put the beanie on. It is freezing. It's actually freezing. The sun went down and it's like... <gasps> it's not freezing. It's freezing, man. It's We're in summer. We're in, you, you got a beanie on. You're an idiot. Got dinner cooking. That's Beef and pasta hot pot. These are in here. Um, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. These in there and in there. Good. Check it out, man. It's fucking still cold. Still cold. <laughs> boy, so <laughs> Alright, this is sick. Alright, cheers, boys. <laughs> it's um, it's like dinner. Quiet. Dude, if you're still hungry, I'll give you one of these. Oh, I got more. It's a dude. That's for you, boy. Oh, bro. Roast pork, mother. Yeah, if you want the roast, roast. Roast, roast. roast, 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 roast pork. Roast, roast pork. Roast pork. <laughs> roast pork. Roast pork. Okay, so it's day three. I woke up this morning to Nick's alarm just going off. It's going off constantly, constantly. Didn't wake him up. Woke me up because I'm a hella light sleeper. And so I've been up since six since that alarm went off. And this guy, it's like now 10 o'clock in the morning. I've packed up all my stuff. <laughs> I'm packed. I'm ready to like load it up for the bike. And he's still asleep. So it's common courtesy to give them a wake up call. And the only way to do this is by doing this. Yeah, so is your fing alarm at six o'clock in the fing morning. <laughs> the downhill journey begins. Oh, bloody, the, p the cops are there. The bloody, the cops are here, yeah. You good? So the, so the rangers came. They said that we shouldn't have camped up here or whatever. But literally, no signs. There's literally no signs around. Now the cops are here. So this is going to be interesting. Cops are here. The cops are here? The cops are here, yeah. Alright, it's okay, buddy. Uh, yeah. Sorry, what do we do? <laughs> I don't know. While we were packing, two rangers came up and started asking questions. Apparently, we weren't supposed to be up there. In our defense, there were no signs stating that we couldn't. There was a sign that I later saw this morning saying no campfires allowed. Once they took their photos of the site, we said we'll pack up quietly and leave ASAP. They told us to take our time because they have some people on the way wanting to have a chat. Little did we know it was going to be the police. Ah, uh, nuts. The fire thing, yeah, that's an issue. But we did everything we could. Cops are here, Let's see how it goes. Speaking of nuts, this video is brought to you by Manscaped, the global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. Manscaped offers the best tools and liquid formulations for the big three odor zones, your body, your butt, and your balls. Manscaped hooked me up with a bunch of their stuff for the all-in-one performance package 4.0. Let's check it out. 
The first thing to highlight in the Performance Pack 4.0 kit is the Lawn Mower 4.0 Body Trimmer. This is Manscaped's fourth generation electric waterproof trimmer with advanced skin safe technology, which reduces nicks and cuts on the most sensitive regions of the body. Now people, we've all been there. Well, I've definitely been there. Go up in the shower, think, oh, I'm gonna trim my downstairs beard. You hold your breath, you flick it on, you start shaving and then BAM! You just nicked your ball sack. We want to know how much that stings. That stings like damn crazy. Well, not anymore. The Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer has a super smart cordless charging system with these little LED lights on the front that show you how much juice you have. Up to 90 minutes of use with a full charge. That's your whole camping trip, guys. Tap the button on the front three times and it enables the travel lock feature. That way, if you drop your bike, it's not going to turn on and start shaving everything inside your pack. Also included in the Performance Pack 4.0 kit are two products I never knew I needed until now. The Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray. The Crop Reviver is a convenient spritz with cooling aloe vera to quickly refresh the area whenever you need it. Simply apply the Crop Preserver after you shower for all day odor protection. Manscaped really has you covered from head to toe. This is their Weed Whacker Nose and Hair Trimmer. This thing works incredibly. It's a wireless nose trimmer with the same skin safe technology as the groin trimmer, so you don't have to worry about tugging or cutting on the sensitive nose hairs. For a limited time, you get all this plus two free gifts. The Manscaped anti-chafing boxer briefs, which worked a dream on this motorcycle trip, and the shared travel bag. Go to manscaped.com today and receive 20% off plus free international shipping, plus two free gifts when you use promo code MOTOFEELS at checkout. Manscaped, always use the right tools for the job. So, quick debrief, um, Winley, Rub, we should be fine, except it's, the fire. It's just so much better than what I, like we can all anticipated. It. Someone dobbed us on this. She literally says six, someone, someone just dobbed on you guys. Wow. And she's like, I'm like, so what is this? Is it a big fine? Is it points? And she's like, it's just an infringement. It's nothing big. You have nothing to worry about. Don't stress. Bruh, <laughs> we get in the mail, 10 grand. <laughs> oh, shit, I say. See you guys. Thankfully, the senior constable was understanding and saw that we were respectful of the area and polite and understanding. We didn't put up a fight and we just told the truth. In the end, she slapped us with a few hundred dollar fine for the fire. Morale was a little low at this point. So many if we didn't do this or that thoughts were going through our heads, but at this point it was done and dusted. Nothing a three hour ride through the stunning hills to Mystery Bay couldn't fix, which is exactly what we did. Needless to say that by the time we arrived, it was like nothing had ever happened. The power of a solid ride. Oh, yeah, this is sick. Yeah, this is perfect, bro. Nailed it. Nice. Oh, boys, solid run. <laughs> we'll do the barbecue today. Yeah. Barbecue. Cook some sausages and some steaks. Get me off this thing. I never want to ride bikes again. That's it, I'm done. I'm giving everything up. Oh, a little half boy. Cancer? How are we going to get yeah, cancer from this? No, that's fine, boys. The boys are on. <laughs> so what? Set up, go into town, grab food, sausages, beers, come back, have a party, go for a swim, drown. Sounds good. All right. We're back. We're back. Time to set up again. Nick just had a, he was looking at his scrambler and he's just wondering how it would look without the heat shield there. Sure. I think it looks better. Oh, oh that looks horrible. No. It looks so skinny and so no. grubby. <laughs> going back. Hide it, hide it. Hide it. Oh. Where does it flare at the end? That? It flares out so much at the end. Oh. That looks what? garbage. <laughs> back on we go. Campsite yeah, quickly, customs. Quickly put it back on. Oh. Campsite customs. We're well done. We're done. Alright, I got an idea for a Wendy's bike. We're just gonna remove his, uh, all of his covers. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> We're just gonna remove the engine covers. You nugget, what are you doing? <laughs> Campsite customs. What is it? What? Good people. Where did we get him from? Try him, Sydney. Try him, Sydney. Dude, what are you Sick. doing? Oh, Look at that. That's Campsite that's Customs. Sick. Campsite Customs. <laughs> whoa, whoa. That looks heaps better. That looks so much better. That looks so much better, man. I don't even know what it looked like before. Nah. Can't go back. Why did they even put a thing there? That's not necessary. No, look how tight, look how tight mine is. Look how tight that is. Oh, you can't even get that off if you wanted to, bro. We, we should switch, look. Mine's brass. 
Grass. So it will go with that, and then mine's graphite, so it, it might go with his. It do. Okay, it's like custard is. Yeah, it's the exact same size. I reckon. Yeah, let me hold it. No, I, th I think it's fine. <laughs> Not campsite customs. Campsite, leave it alone. Here we, the five boys, cruise control boys. Oh, so good. Okay, heated, uh, that's chilling. Good. Okay, heated. Let's do it. That you have your mode boys. You're on the mode boy button. Yeah, mode boy. You know information. That's so sad. Even, <laughs> even he has a mode boy. Yeah, that 2019 comes with modes. Right, has a 2016 and it has modes. Yeah, well, someone sold me a really bad Triumph. <laughs> Finally using the all-terrain gear. This is the grill. This is the grill, baby. Check this out. Check out this thing unfolds. So this is in it. These are in it. This is the steak. When is going away now? Yeah, like that. This so way that's how it locks in. And it's all weight. And that goes all the way to the back. And then you put a steak in there if you want to use that. But it's all weight. So we got to work out how we want to just like have that floating over mm. the top. And what's this made out of? Aluminium. Aluminium. Alloy. This is the first time you're using this thing. I've had this thing for so long. Uh -huh. <laughs> how good is that? Wait, Keep telling me. What's going on, man? What's, what's happening, brother? Brother. There you go. Slightly stuck. Boom. How good is that? Beauty. This is so sick. What a beaut. It's actually mad. We're done. The boys are on. The boys are going to eat and the boys are going to sleep. I'm wrecked. I wish I had like three hours of sleep last night. So sleeping time is going to be freaking fantastic. The sweet sound of insects and waves crashing. What more could you want? 20 kilos. This was our final morning, so we packed for the last time and we made our way back home. We stopped in the cafe to have breakfast, then we had to do the old switcheroo. How good's having mirrors right there? You like it? It's nice, eh? Wenley's frothing on it. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> so Nick's saying that he can't turn Wenley's frothing on my bike. Nick's hating the T120. Yeah, it's a fun bike, man. It's a heaps fun bike. This is the first time Wenley's ridden a scrambler. Yeah, he's frothing. He loves it. <laughs> what is he doing? Come back with my bike. <laughs> Like red light, speed cameras, straight through them. Once I caught up to Wenli and got my bike back, we took to the mountains, up through the twisties of Kangaroo Valley, the misty hills of the Southern Highlands, then a downhill run through Macquarie Pass before switching bikes again. Alright, switcheroo number two. Here we go. Nick's riding the street scram. Wenley's on the 1200 scram. I'm on this thing. This, this, this feels so small. The bars are so... What is this thing? Ah, oh, it sounds... My pipes, man. They sound so good. This thing's like pulling and chugging and acting all weird. What the hell? Yeah, this is clunky as, man. What the heck? This is horrible. Let's just, is it the chain? Like, is the chain super loose on this thing? The, the bars are so short. I feel like I'm just like, me. Oh, what's the wobble? Holy crap, man. It gets a death wobble. Look at that death wobble. What? This thing, bruh, I don't know what the dick. Bruh. It's loose as fuck. Look how loose that is. That's like flapping around. I can feel it. It's just jerking and clapping around everywhere. Like, I mean, Whatever, if you want to do it now, I'll do it later. Hey! Oh. <laughs> 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 the boys working on the bikes. <laughs> Can I smell this? <laughs> it's like, what is it? My ass! It's not oil, is it? It's just no. Wet mud. It's just mud. <laughs> oh, this bike feels better already. Alright, let's do it! Real Nash, baby. Uh, This is the Royal National Park, about one hour from home. The final leg of this amazing tour. Although it was only a short three night motor camping trip, we overcame challenges and obstacles. We took risks and paid the consequences. And we grew and bonded as a unit. This section of the ride was quite emotional for me. 
partly because the trip was almost over, but mainly because the Royal National Park has been my favourite piece of road to ride in Sydney since buying my first bike almost 10 years ago. It's been a place where I've been able to clean my head, escape the hustle, lose myself and reconnect with nature. And this was the last time I was going to be riding it. The adventure doesn't end here, it's only just begun.